what's up guys welcome to my channel so if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe um, today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different so I'm going to be doing an Ipsy try on as well as an Ulta haul try on and while I'm doing that I'm gonna be listing off some of my favorite video games to play they're not necessarily like my top five it's just five that I can think of off the top of my head let's get to it as you can see I have washed off all of my makeup for the day and I had to scrub pretty hard so I've got some redness um, I've also got a really fun breakout down here which is courtesy of my body getting revenge on me for never having acne in high school so I've already moisturized so I'm gonna start with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer I got this in one of my Ipsy bags the Glam Bag Plus so yeah, so I'm going to put this primer on, probably just using my fingers. And I have used this a couple times, so I do like this. It's the first primer I've ever tried, so I don't know how it compares to other primers. But it works pretty well for me. Okay, and since I've started on my makeup, I guess I'll start talking about video games. I don't really know if this is going to have an audience on YouTube for video games and makeup. But we'll see. Number five out of these five that I'm going to mention is No Man's Sky. And I played that on the PS4. I did not like it at first. It was kind of repetitive. There wasn't really anything to do as far as missions. But they have added so much and it is such an enjoyable game now. And just getting to explore other planets and see like all these different randomly generated creatures is so awesome and I've always been obsessed with space getting to visit other planets is just the dream and if you guys like have any opinions on these video games I'd be really interested just drop me a comment below and let me know what you think of them so that was number five um, my favorite thing to do in that game by the way just random but I love finding like broken down ships that are like worth a ton and then like fixing them up and now I have this super cool like maybe special edition uh, ship in my collection and it's pretty awesome. Also now that you can build a base that's just a whole other level because now you can craft on the game too and I know that's not a recent update but I don't play it too often so it was a pretty cool update to me. Alright so now that I've primed my skin I'm going to start doing my eyes and maybe that's not the right order to do that but I'm not a makeup guru so I'm just going with the flow here. I'm going to be using another thing that I got in my Glam Bag Plus which is the Laura Geller Central Park Face Eye and Cheek Palette. So my autofocus is not working very well today so I apologize for that. I'm probably going to try to utilize Cherry Hill which is the reddish eyeshadow and I'll probably use Belvedere Castle for my neutral kind of in the crease and on the lid a little bit. And I'm using a Morphe eyeshadow brush that I've just had forever. I have no idea at what point in time in my life I got it so it's happening. What's super fun is I don't have a mirror so I'm just using the viewfinder on the camera. I really like that shade actually. Looks pretty good so far. I haven't used this shade before. Or at least I don't think I have. The color does flake a little bit in the pan. So that's not super enjoyable because it's making my palette really messy. But it doesn't seem to be flaking on my eyelids. And I'm just trying to keep my eyes simple so I don't spend a ton of time doing this. So. I'm not going to spend too much time on the eyeshadow itself. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Cherry Hill. Oh god, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's hope this looks okay. I do like red shades on the eyelids though. And on the lower lash line, which is also what I'm going to be doing. It's kind of not as bright, like I would want it to be more of a pink shade, but... It's still pretty cool. Man, I got bags for days. Can't wait to put some cover up on. I do have this mirror here, but it's like 
from the shower wall. <laughs> That's all I got, but I do really like the shade. It's got a nice shimmer to it. So I'll go in with a little bit more, I think. Especially in the corner. And then on the inner lids, I'm going to do a shade I've had for a while. It's Too Faced Honey Please Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. I think I got this around New Year's last year. Or maybe the year before. <laughs> I have no sense of time. Enjoy my faces while I'm doing this because they are fun. pretty cool I like it I so far like the eyeshadows on this palette and I played around with the blush it's really strong but I'm gonna show you in this video um, hopefully I can blend it out a little bit I do like the highlighter in here though which I'll also be trying on so number four on my list um, is kind of funny it's an older game and it just is always in my mind but um, Harvest Moon, A Simple Life, which I think I played on GameCube. It's been a while. Um, so it's kind of a game that I liked when I was younger and it was just kind of special to me. Um, I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much now. I don't know, it was really relaxing, but the gist is like you're trying to save your family farm and you start off with like basically nothing except a cow. <laughs> God, this sounds so funny trying to explain this. Um, and so, yeah, you have to make a profit. And it's kind of, like, satisfying, like, making more and more money as you put more time into the game. And there's, like, little side stories that go on. And it's just a really fun game. So that would be my number four, I think. Um, it's probably tied with No Man's Sky, but it's just way more relaxing than No Man's Sky. The Sentinels kind of ruin it. The relaxing aspect sometimes. All right, so now that my eyeshadow is done, I have to move on to eyeliner. And I'm really not looking forward to this because I have tried this eyeliner and I hate it. But since I got it in my Ipsy bag, I'm going to try it for you now on video. It's the Araceli Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliner in Coffee. And it's like a really pretty color. It's a brown. I could show you up close, but like I said, my autofocus isn't working. The thing I don't like about it is the formula is really dry. So it doesn't glide on. It kind of like draws on. And I just, I don't enjoy it. I like more of a liquidy, smooth eyeliner. Um, I do like the felt tip because that's normally what I go with. Um, this one, though, is a little bit too stiff for my taste, so it's not very flexible. You easily make mistakes with this, or at least I do. So I'm going to try it, though, and hate my life while I'm doing it. Not too bad so far. Kind of dry as the desert, though, so that's fun. So this is the part I have the issue with is wings. I'd almost just leave it off, but I'm gonna do it just to show you how it goes on. Ugh, so bad. Yeah, like the ends. I'm trying to get closer. Okay, of course you can't see it. So the ends, I don't know if you can see. It's not very smooth. It's not too bad, really. I did better this time than I have been doing. But... I have NYX eyeliner in black, and I just like that so much better. It's The formula is a lot more wet, so it works better for me. Okay, that one was actually pretty good. I wish I would have done the same kind of angle on the other side, but that didn't go too badly. Still not a huge fan, though. My opinion kind of improved a little bit just using it this time. I haven't given it much of a chance, I'll be honest. Now I'm going to be using um, not an Ipsy product, but something I got 
at Ulta. I saw another YouTuber say that it was pretty good and it was cheap, so I went ahead and purchased it. I have used it a little bit. It's um, Lash Paradise by, who is it by? L'Oreal. And I, I like it decently. It's just like, I stabbed myself in the eye with it this morning. The brush is kind of big, but definitely good for the price. It was like pretty cheap. So I'm gonna put that on. Oh, there's a big clump. Okay. So that's going on pretty good. So yeah, I'm a decent fan of that. It works out pretty well. All right, so now that eyes are done, I'm going to do number three on my game list, and that is the game Ark. Um, and kind of what goes along with that game is Conan Exiles. They're both, they have the same premise. Um, you're like alone in a deserted place, and in Ark, you're like the storyline, you're completely alone, but in Conan, you get rescued by Conan, and Anyway, but the same kind of gameplay. It's a survival game, and Ark kind of wins over Conan, even though Conan was super fun too. Um, because in Ark, you get to like tame and ride dinosaurs, and that's just fucking awesome. Like pterodactyls, um, T Rex, Spinosaurus. Is that what it's called? Triceratops, even though they're really slow, they're like each species of dinosaur has its own perks. Like I believe the Triceratops like gathers berries which you use to like tame other dinosaurs. Anyway, don't want to get too into it, but that is definitely one of my favorite games because it's so fun. You can play with friends and start like, a, I think it was called a clan. It's been a while since I've played, but you build like this massive base and you're like battling against other players and you used your dinosaurs to like F up their bases. So like you'll just be minding your own business and a giant T-Rex comes like crashing into your base and it's frustrating, but it's so fun. Um, so it's kind of a game you play in spurts and then you get like ticked off and you stop playing for a while. I haven't played in a while, but I love that game. It's so fun. So, Next, I'm going to be doing something I got at Ulta. It's It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream um, SPF 50, full coverage. I've used this a little bit and I'm still getting used to it, but I really like it a lot. Be back, I have to um, moisten my sponge. Okay, I'm back. So that's a nice and moist now. So I typically just squirt this on my makeup applicator and I try to use just like one squirt for my whole face because I am like a penny pincher when it comes to makeup so I don't want to be getting more of this anytime soon uh you know what I forgot to cover up my breakout first so I'm gonna do that while this is still just chilling on my face no biggie don't mind me Yeah, so. Okay, so I like to do that underneath my foundation because if I do it on top, it looks like I'm trying to like highlight my breakout and that's not what I'm trying to do at all. One squirt almost covers all of my face, but it's like, gets kind of dry at the end. So I try to get it to spread. Spread. All right, that's better. We just ignore the screaming in the background. <laughs> Fun times. Um, all right, so what am I gonna do next? Okay, next I'm going to kind of do. I try to dab so that doesn't get completely erased there. It blends out. I don't like wipe 
because that would just take the foundation off. And I kind of dab down my nose with it to highlight that. Now it's time to do my brows, I think. I'm not big into brows, so I guess this would be the time to do it. And I'm going to use my mirror because I don't trust myself to do it from this far away. So I have, um, I forgot to say, have I been saying the stuff I've been doing? The under my eyes was shape tape, which I love. It's a great cover up. Um, I think that's the only thing I missed. This is Anastasia ABH um, Brow Wiz in top, if that's how you say that. Taupe, taupe maybe. Like I said, I don't know much about brows, so I like this. It is the only thing I've ever used for brows. And I already had this, so I've had this a while. My sister taught me how to do my brows because she is a makeup guru and I am not. <laughs> But I'm learning. I mostly try to focus on the ends since they're like the most visible. I guess that looks okay. <laughs> Is that too long? I don't know. It looks okay. It'll work. Oh my god. That looks a little off, but oh well. If you hear some background noise, Roomba has made his grand entrance. It's very loud. I might have to turn him off. I don't even know if he can hear me right now. All right, eyebrows are kind of on, I think. I'm gonna thicken them up a little bit. Pretty snazzy. Alright, so now we got this beauty at Ulta. It's Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. So it's a clear brow gel. Yet another thing I have never used before. So I can't really compare it to anything, but I know Benefit's a good brand, so I'm just gonna brush kinda upwards and Smooth it out a little bit on the edges. Jesus, Roomba. All right, looking pretty nice so far. Now, I guess I should go to number two. My number two game on this list is The Witcher 3. And I haven't played this game in a long time, but I remember that I loved it and I know that the combat was like extremely enjoyable in it and the storyline was great um, and I think just like the Netflix series brought up my good memories for the game so that's why it's like on my mind. My favorite part of that game was Gwent. I was obsessed with Gwent and I was so good at it, oh my god. And that's just what I spent like 90% of my time doing and that game was playing Gwent and obsessing over like collecting the cards and going to the tournaments and all that. Um, I tried the PS4 game Gwent, which is like a standalone, like maybe free, I think it was free game, but it didn't seem like how it was in the actual Witcher game. It was not as fun, so I don't know. But I'll probably play that again soon because I really miss playing Gwent, so yeah. So that was number two. Now I am going to do some bronzer, which is another new thing that I'm not used to doing. I've got Hula Light. Again, I saw this in a YouTuber's video. She was about the same shade as me and she went with light. I have um, kind of dabbled with this. I've used it like a little bit, but I don't think I'm doing it right. I don't know. Just tell me any advice you have for sure. And... She just kind of went around the edges of her face. That's what I'm gonna do. To me, I can't really see anything, but my husband said my makeup looks really good lately, so maybe it is doing something. I guess I can kind of see it, I don't know. Hard to tell. But, oh yeah, 
it's easier to see in this lighting. And I'll try to show you what my makeup looks like in the daylight if there's any daylight left when I get done with this video. So that's the bronzer. Um, it goes on smoothly enough. So I think that I like it. Kind of do it on the edges of my nose to sort of contour a little bit. I don't really do contour, so um, maybe I should, but I just don't really do that. All right, so God, I wish Roomba would shut up. Now I'm going to do the dreaded blush, which really, it's not so bad. It's just so strong. It's a good shade. But let me just show you. See, like, uh, it's just, like, very pink. I like a lot lighter blush. Yeah, it's a little bit too heavy for me. Like, I look like I just ran a marathon or something. Like, why am I blushing so much? Alright, now I'm... Very blushed up. Maybe I can like blend it out a little bit. Eh, it's not really too bad. Let's blend it out a little bit. That's not bad. Okay, and now I'm going to do highlight, which is pretty good. You can kind of see the shine there. I can't tell if it's like too strong or not strong enough, but I wear it every day lately. Um, it's not something I'd ever done before it was highlight. Okay. Yeah, so it's got a nice little shine there. Maybe too much. I don't know. I'm really bad at judging this. God, that blush is so dark. Ah, I'm starting to panic. Oh my God, don't touch it. Okay, don't look at this side of my face. Look at this side of my face. It's also very dark. God, that side's really dark though. Okay, moving on. Okay, blush, highlighter. Oh, yeah, okay. And I'm only trying on the Ipsy products that I'm not giving away. So that's why I didn't have a ton of Ipsy products to try on. Um, because I am giving some of those away, like another eyeliner. Um, what else did I get? An eyeshadow. Probably should have taken this out before this video. And I should probably explain what this is in a minute. Ah! It's a dust. Okay. So, this little guy here is KVD Vegan Beauty, I think. Setting powder, locket setting powder, and translucent. And I need a setting powder, but this is really small because it came in the um, glam bag, like the regular one, where you get the deluxe sample. Somehow this is deluxe, even though it's like the size of a baby bird. It's a deluxe sample somehow. So I'm gonna attempt to use this. I think it's time to use this. Oh, don't touch your brows. What are you doing? All right, it's coming out. It's going everywhere, but I haven't put it on my face yet. I don't really know how to judge this either. And this brush I'm using is very cheap. I don't know where I got it, but it's the only one small enough to fit in it. Goes on smoothly enough, looks good. I actually think it's kind of smoothing out my blush a little bit, so that's good. I like it. Um, I might not buy the full size, but I'll use the trial size for sure. What have I not used yet? I think all my Ipsy products are done. Yeah. I'm gonna use this setting spray, even though I just use setting powder. Um, this is ABH um, Dewy Set. I've had this for a while. I didn't know it was good. I just bought it on a whim, but it's really good. I like it a lot. 
Never get used to that. <laughs> they taste good though. Um, so this next part, I might end up editing out. If it's still here, then it went okay. Or maybe I just decided to put it in there anyway. I have never been skilled with lip products. I suck at lip products. But these were on sale. Dose Lip Liner, which looks like this. You can't really see the name because my autofocus sucks right now. And did I tell you the shade? Casual. I think that's the shade. Um, and then I got lipstick, which is like my number one enemy. So that's going to be so fun to put on. I just, I'm not good at it, but I'm going to try. And it's bright pink. Look at this stuff. So we'll see. Let's try it. All right. And this is my first time using lip liner. So here we go. It goes on pretty smoothly, I guess. Oh my god, I messed up. So the lip liner is pretty light. You probably can't even see it, but it's on. Literally looks like nothing to me. So maybe I got the wrong shade. I don't know. You can just barely see it. But okay. So I'm going to try the lipstick now, which is what I'm truly terrified of. Let's dive in. Okay. Also dose. And in the shade Mochi. 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 I don't know. Pink. In the shade super too pink. Why did I buy pink? Hi Roomba. Oh my god. Holy shit, it's so pink. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, it's okay. I'm gonna do it. It's so pink. Oh my god, why did I buy this shade? When am I ever gonna wear this shade of pink? Must have been in a mood that day that I bought this. Doesn't help that my lips are like insanely chapped. Help me. Is it good? Is it so good? Okay, like, it's not really me but I guess it could be worse. Okay. Okay, so let my hair down, it's a mess, but it's the finished product, not too bad. I guess, I don't know. Looks okay, looks better than when we started, so. I'd say my favorite Ipsy product that I got was the primer, Dr. Brandt's primer. And then after that, probably the Laura Geller, Geller, Laura Geller. Um, and then least favorite was for sure the eyeliner, but it's not too bad. Um, and then my favorite Alta product I got was the Benefit 24 hour brow setter because they feel like pretty in place, but like not plasticky or like too stiff or anything like unnatural. Definitely made my brows look a lot better than they normally do. I think my second favorite would be the CC color correcting full coverage foundation. I am going to be doing a giveaway probably when I get my next Ipsy bag. It should be like in a week or two, maybe longer. So stay tuned for that. You do have to be subscribed. So I'll post more details for that when it gets closer. Until then, like this video if you liked it and subscribe. And I'll be doing an unboxing as soon as my Ipsy packages come in. See you guys later. Hey guys, so I just realized that I never did my number one game that I like to play. So I'm just doing this really quick before I head out for the day. but. 
the game that I've enjoyed the most that I've played recently is Uncharted 4. And I love all of the Uncharted series. Their storyline is just incredible. The scenery, the locations that you go to, the graphics are amazing. And it is just such a beautiful game. And kind of reminds you of Assassin's Creed, but like way better. There's even like a mini game where you get to play Crash Bandicoot in Uncharted 4, so that was pretty cool. I don't know, I just love the storyline. That's been my favorite game over the past few years. Just wanted to add that in before I forgot.